Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Besto and today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can install WordPress on your website. So I'm doing a series on uh, website design. So in my last video, I showed you how you can buy a domain name and a hosting plan. Of course, that is the first thing. So I started out with, with uh, website design. We want to create a website. The first thing you need to do is to buy a domain name and a hosting plan. So if you have not watched that video, you can just click on the link above my head here. Click on this link and you will watch that video. So when you finish watching that video and you have secured your domain name and a hosting plan, then you can now come and watch this video and know how to install your WordPress, which is the next step. So this thing is very easy. So if you have successfully bought your domain name and a hosting plan, they are going to send uh, some login details into your email. Those details will enable you to log into your cPanel where you, are, you can access your files and do a lot of other settings. You can do a custom email there. You can install WordPress even there and some other things. They are going to also send another login details that will enable you, which is FTP, File Transfer Protocol. They are going to send the FTP details into your, your email as well. So those details will help you to upload your, your website. You know, website is uh, it comprises of files, which are, can, can be videos, images, and um, even, even uh, text. So they will send you those details. So you are now going to use those details. When you finish doing uh, designing your website, if it is offline, you are now going to use FTP details to push your website to the server. So before I will continue, if you are coming to my channel for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Because on this channel, we give a lot of value. I, I speak about website design and I give free tutorials on digital tools and how you can use them to make money on the internet. So subscribe to this channel and you'll get a lot of value. So now I'm going into the process of installing WordPress on your website. All right, so you now need to open your email. So I will come to my email, come to my email and then you will see the email, that, the mail that was sent to you from your web hosting company. In this case, uh, look at the email here, which is sent from InterServer. So now click on this, this new website, uh, at, at, new website activated. Click on this. So when you click on this, you're not going to see your login details. But before this, in trying to log into my cPanel, where I'll be installing the WordPress, I will first go to my hosting company which is interserver.net 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 click on login So the email address you used, it's time to put your domain name and hosting plan. That's the email you are going to put here. So I'll put my email. So login, I have sent a code to my email. So let me open my email and get the code. Uh, 
our first piece with the more legend. Alright, so I've logged into my Intel server account now. As you can see, this is the domain name I got. This is the web hosting plan, which I also got for one year. So now, what we are going to do is this. We are going to log into our cPanel. So quickly click on web hosting. So when you click on web hosting, as you can see, the status is shown active. So click on this setting icon. It will now take you to this dashboard. So when you come here, look at your login to direct admin. Direct admin, this is your cPanel. We are going to your cPanel now. So now we are going to use the login details they sent to your email to log into, into your into your cPanel now. So go back to your email and click on the mail they sent to the email I showed you earlier. This new website activated. So when you click on this, when I'm going to copy your direct admin login uh, information here. Look at the username. So copy your username. Go back to your cPanel login. Come back to your cPanel login. Put your username. Go back to your email again. Copy your password. Copy your password. This is your password. So sign in. So if you want to save your, your details, you can go ahead and save. If you are uh, not using that system with anyone else, you can save your password. Uh, so if you are using it with someone, it's not advisable to save your password on it like uh, that. So now, this is your direct admin. This is your control panel. This is where all your files, all your settings, all your web, your web hosting are done. As you can see, your SSL certificate. This is what gives you, when you type in a domain name on the browser, some of the domain names, they will show you insecure because they will not have that S, HTTPS. They will not have that S. It's because the certificate is not activi activated. It's either they don't have the certificate or it is not activated. So. In, in most hosting plans, they give it for free. So, but there are some that we need to buy. Buy the, the SSL certificate and you install on your website and it becomes secure. So, as you can see here, this is an email manager. This is where you can, you can create your custom email. But that's not what we are doing. That we, are, we want to install WordPress. Want to install WordPress? So come down, and you now see Softaculous App Installer. So look at WordPress here. Now click on WordPress. So, but before we install this WordPress, let me let me visit my site. That is the new uh, domain name I've got. You will see the message that will display on the site, and then we will now, when we finish installing WordPress, you will now see the change that, that will be there. So let me visit my website quickly, which is bestinpresto.com. So enter. So you now see, see what is appearing here now. This message is from hosting company, which is in InterServer. So well, as soon as I install WordPress, you see that this will this will change. So let's go back, go back to our cPanel. Remember, we clicked on WordPress. That's what took us to this place. So now, this is the overview. So quickly, you are going to click on install now. So now you are going to uh, 
put in some information here. So here, you just remove this directory, leave it empty. So this is version 5.9, leave it there. Then your domain name is there. So now you are going to put in your site name. This should be your business name, your company name. I want to leave it as I've been. Then come to site description. So this site description is uh, a little text about your site. So you need to write a, a short description of what of the content of your website here. So what, what are you going to be doing on your, your website? If it is a company that is into digital marketing, you now caption uh, a, a line or two in line with digital marketing. If it's a company that produces a physical product, we, we, we talk about that, that, that product in a summary form. Normally, you put something that people will be searching for. So you can, you can even be able to get some keywords from Google Trends. We're not going to go into that now. So, but get keywords that people are searching for frequently on the internet regarding your field. So you now put, put it here. So for me, I'm going to put personal development business coaching digital skills. This is not going to display on your website, but it's going to show on search engines. So now you're going to put in your password. A, a stronger password is required. So you can put password with, uh, with special characters, mix numbers. Okay. So I now put my password here. So admin email. You can put you can leave it at admin. So now <laughs> there are a number of things here. There are a number of things that I can insert, I can install into my, my WordPress right now. There are quite a lot of them, as you can see. Very beautiful things. So I can, I can easily click on any of them and install. But I don't want to install it now. We are going to install it later in our dashboard. And of course, I'm going to do that in my next video. I'll show you how to install uh, a team and customize it, install a team and some other plugins for your website. So as you can see, there are a lot of them I don't want to install it now. All right, so go ahead and click on install. This install is for WordPress. You are not choosing any new team. So go ahead and click on install. So congratulations, the software was installed successfully. So if you now want to log into your WordPress and start designing your website, this is the URL you are going to use. So click on this URL. So now this is your WordPress dashboard. You have successfully installed WordPress and you have logged in to the, the dashboard. So this is where you do all your editings. This is where you, you can import the whole website and edit in just minutes. You can make your post here, you can add pages and all of that. So in my next video, I will be showing you how to install a complete website into your hosting plan and, and just edit it to suit your own uh, taste. 
So I'll show you how to install the required plugins and every other thing in my next video. So if you got value from this video, go ahead and like it, subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification button so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be notified. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.